Hello and welcome. Today we are going to deal with the critical paths. The critical paths is the chain of tasks that which aren't finished on time would delay the project. So we have to define all the tasks and to find out all those tasks that by delaying them it would delay the project. In order to illustrate that I have here a project which is a customer relation management system that will be set in place to a garage which sells cars, which repairs cars. A customer relation management system, you must imagine in the work of a garage, you receive marketing at home that tells you that uh, they can lease you a new car, sell you a new car, do your repair, do tests on your car, change tires. So to have a follow up on all that, there is a system which is called the customer relation management system in which you can have people from marketing inputting data about customer using the database of customers. We are now going to follow a project in which we implement such a system. So you see that basically that uh, project starts here with an initiation in which you do planning, financial planning, project proposition and project approval. After that, you have a conception phase in which you do definitions and design. And after that, if we follow below, there will be the part called integration and execution in which you do the connections uh, with the database and uh, you implement the system on a server and then you have the integration work to link this to the customer database, to link it to the accounting and link it to the billing. After that, there is a testing phase, a training, and then we'll close the project once it is in production. We can see that uh, in this project, we have here quite a sequential part with tasks following one another here. And if we go a bit further into the, the project, we'll see that at one point you start to have here tasks that can be done in parallel. If I even go a bit further here, you will see that there are much many more of those tasks that can be performed in parallel here. We are now going to see how MS Project is going to help us to find out the critical paths. So in order to see the critical tasks, I go here into Format and you see that here up I can select critical tasks. Once I click on this, we will see in the diagram part that tasks which are on the critical path are now shown in red. The tasks being in blue aren't on the critical path. The critical path is defined on tasks which aren't ended, meaning that those ones here you see with the advancements of the project that they are already ended. So if one task would be partially completed, it could be also on the critical path. It means that those critical tasks must absolutely end before the finish date for which they were scheduled. If it's not the case, then the project is going to be delayed. For example, here we have that task in blue. You see, it's the backup of the configuration test. So that one could really be lasting longer without having any impact on the project. It can have an impact on the project cost, it can have an impact on the resources, but it won't have any impact on the delay and the deadline of the project. It means also that this task has a slack or an important margin this task here, which is the configuration of the CRM, uh, we, we see that uh, it doesn't have any margin. So it is on the critical path and we absolutely need to finish it on time in order to continue and in order to finish the project on time. So we see that till the end of the project, there are quite a number of critical tasks 
before that we can end here with the production run. As you can see here, for example, if I take the training, uh, it's not at all on the critical paths, so we could move it by two days. It wouldn't disturb at all uh, the end of the project. So the tasks on the critical paths are absolutely necessary to be terminated or finished on time in order the project to be on time. There is another way by which we can access the critical paths. It's by going into the diagram part here, right clicking the mouse, and then you see here show hide bar style and you have critical tasks. So I will remove it. So you see that the critical tasks have been removed. So this would be a, a situation in which you would be and you would like to see the critical tasks. So you simply click right, go to show hide bar styles, and you select the critical tasks. Like that, you see them. You can see that the red arrows going down here they show you the cascading of all the critical tasks. We have other possibilities in the diagram. For example, we want to see the margin. So we go again with right clicking in the diagram on show hide bar style. And I will say I want to see the slack. Slack is what I call margins. And you will see here they are blue, dark blue lines that appear. This is just showing you that you have a certain margin on that task. It means that, for example, test link here, which is uh, this one, you could move it on the right by one, two days or prolong it. It wouldn't affect at all the project deadline. So we can see that any task that is prolonged by a darker line has a certain margin. Any task that has a slack or a margin cannot be, by definition, on the critical pass. We see in this project that I have here uh, red icons, which means that I have resources in overallocation. I left this on purpose into this project, and we are going to see here what we can do with the resources. So what I'm going to do is to use the function here, level all, but we mustn't expect that it will solve everything. So I will just click on it and we'll see what happens. And we see here that engineer two, that was supposed to do two tasks at the same time. And the biggest part is done after that the link with accounting is accomplished. They are remaining over allocation it's a bit more complicated so it's drifting us a bit away from the subject so i will leave it as such it won't harm at all my explanation there is another way through which we can also look at the critical paths it's by choosing another diagram it's the network diagram for this i need to reduce the size a bit that we can have a look at it so we see all our sequential tasks here, followed by the critical ones. And we see here some that are no more uh, critical. On such a diagram, uh, I have here increased and zoomed in so that we can see, for example, here the task, which is linked with customer database, which is on the critical path. We can read when it starts, when it finishes, and the duration of two weeks, and the resource that is assigned to that task, which is engineer one. On the opposite here, we see in blue a task which is not at all on the critical path, and we can see the same information. Tasks that are already achieved, as you see here, project approval, for example, you see a cross over the task. Tasks in red are on the critical path here. Now, if we want to reduce the delay of the project, uh, then we need to act on the critical path. There is no use to act on a blue task or on a task which is not on the critical path. To see this, it's better to go back to the Gantt chart. I will increase a bit the size here. And we see, for example, here, we 
can just take this as an example. But we have here a task that lasts three weeks for tests by users. And you see, for example, we have engineer one and test user one. Would it reduce the length of this task or the duration of this task if we would add engineer two and test user two? Why not? Maybe it would. So this would be one way to act and maybe to reduce the duration of the complete project by one week. We might want to look at other possibilities to reduce the delay. So for that, we want to see some of the other critical tasks. Um, this view, I will show you one way by which we can filter and have just the critical tasks. So I took the view. And in the outline, I will select here critical. And you see that we have just the critical tasks which are displayed. This is way easier for us now to evaluate what we could do on the critical paths. As an idea in this project to reduce the, the delay, we could maybe think here by maybe having more resources on link with customer database that this task here could maybe be shortened or it could start even a bit earlier already when a part of the configuration is done maybe we could already start the link with the customer database this version of uh, ms project is providing us with different kinds of report Concerning the critical path, if we go and look in the category of um, reports which are called uh, in progress, we can see the critical task. So I click on this and as you can see here, we have a status of the critical task. And here it will show us which ones are complete on schedule, which ones are late and which one are future tasks. So we, you see that we have a lot of future tasks which are defined here. There might be some which are already late, so it's a sign that we should maybe go and look what's going on in that part of the project. Here we have a table on which we see the definition of the tasks. So we have the list of all the critical tasks and you see that no other task is in here which is not on the critical path. For example, training, you won't find it here. We have the start date, the finish date of the task. And here, what is also interesting is the person complete of that task. So we see here that there is one which is already 25% complete. And here we have the list uh, in that column with the remaining work. And here, the people and resources which were allocated or attributed to the task. With that, I think it's a neat way to have a look at the critical tasks. With that, we went around the critical tasks and the possibilities offered by MS Project. Now it's time for you to experiment, make mistakes. That's the way we learn. And if you liked what I presented, so you can like it. You can also subscribe to the channel. I wish you a nice time and hope to see you soon. Bye.